Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today, early this morning, the Pangu dev team released an updated version of their untethered iOS 7.1.1 and 7.1 jailbreak utility, Pangu version 1.1.0. The new update not only brings an English interface to Pangu, it adds support for Mac OS X, and it actually changes some of the exploits that the utility utilizes to jailbreak 7.1.1. So, in light of that fact, I'm making this new New tutorial to show you guys exactly how to jailbreak iOS 7.1.1 and 7.1. And starting off, let's preface with a few things. So first of all, if you have any questions regarding Pangu, such as how the utility actually functions, where it's from or what its origins are, who the new Pangu dev team is, whether the Vaders will release an updated version of Evasion to jailbreak 7.1.1, and if Pangu is truly safe, which let me just tell you right now, it is as confirmed by myself, muscle nerd of the Evaders, Sarik, the creator of Cydia, Ionic, and I Hate Snow, then just be sure to check out my earlier Pangu jailbreak tutorial in which I demonstrate how it's possible to jailbreak iOS 7.1 on all iOS devices using the first iteration of Pangu for Windows. But again, now this new utility does support OS X natively, and that's actually what I'm going to be demonstrating on in this tutorial. However, you can jailbreak with Windows as well. So with that out of the way, this does function on all iPhone, iPad, and iPod touch models, including the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5C, the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S the iPhone 4, the iPad Air, the second generation Retina Display iPad Mini, the original iPad Mini, the fourth generation iPad, the third generation iPad, the iPad 2, as well as the fifth generation iPod Touch, which is actually what I'm going to be using to demonstrate with in today's tutorial. All right, with all that out of the way, and once you've watched the beginning segment to my original untethered Pangu jailbreak tutorial to get the answers to the questions that I previously mentioned, then come back here and the only thing you're going to need to download for this jailbreak is simply Pangu. And I will have a link to an article on my site down below in the more info that contains download links to the latest version of Pangu with Windows and OS X support. All right, and now it's time to show you guys that this fifth generation iPad Touch is indeed on iOS 7.1.1 by going inside of settings and then general about and down below at the bottom inside of settings general about you will notice that for the version it does say that this is running ios 7.1.1 so again you know this fifth generation ipod touch is indeed on ios 7.1.1 all right and one last thing before we actually get into this jailbreak tutorial this part is important so please pay attention if you did update to 7.1.1 or 7.1 inside of the settings app via apple's over the air update option then you will have have to go to iTunes, plug your device in, and then back up. Once you've done that, restore to iOS 7.1.1, follow the instructions outlined in this jailbreak tutorial, and then restore from your backup inside of iTunes once you've successfully jailbroken. And that's actually the method I recommend even if you didn't update to 7.1.1 via Apple's over the air update option because starting from a clean restore of 7.1.1 and jailbreaking that will ensure that you don't encounter any issues during the actual process itself. And once you've made your decision on that, plug your device into your computer before actually opening Pangu. So again, just plug it in via the standard USB cable that your device was shipped with. And once you've done that, you can open Pangu again after downloading it from the link I have listed below. And once it's verified the device you have connected, then you will be able to proceed. I'm just going to zoom in here and readjust things and I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see inside of Pangu, this does confirm that it's a fifth generation iPod touch and its identifier is five comma one. And if you're on an iPhone, however, the identifier will not match up with which device you have. And that's of course because of Apple's unique naming system. And again, it also says it's running iOS 7.1.1. So let's go ahead and continue from here. I'm gonna have a clean restore of 7.1.1 on my fifth generation iPod touch, which is what I advise doing. And once you continue with the jailbreak, then you will actually be required to set your date back. And that's because Pangu utilizes expired developer certificates. And that's actually nothing bad. It's just for the initial unsigned code execution. So they don't burn through other valuable exploits. 
and that's explained in more depth again in my original jailbreak tutorial and if you're on the desktop version of YouTube there will be an annotation on the screen to go back to that video where it actually explains it again in more detail so let's go ahead and continue by clicking jailbreak and now it's just telling you again to go inside of settings and set your date back to a time when the developer certificate was active so I'm going to refocus here on the fifth generation iPod touch and let's go inside of the settings app followed by general and then scroll down to date and time and then if you have 24 time checked or the 24 hour time option checked you will need to set it to 2030 however if you're just on standard am pm you will need to set it to 8 30. so i'm going to uncheck set automatically so we can actually manipulate the date settings and we're going to set it to june 2nd so scroll back to june 2nd that's a monday and we're going to set the time to to 8.30 and that's p.m. Once you've set it to 8.30 p.m. it should instantly continue inside of the Pangu jailbreak utility as you can see it's proceeding there. And now what you're going to do is simply press the home button and scroll over to a blank page on your device and it should instantly put the Pangu icon there. Let's go ahead and tap it. The first time you open it, of course, it will ask you if you want to continue. We're going to tap continue because this is a developer enterprise certificate app. Again, it has to verify that initially and this is for the beginning unsigned code execution. So just leave your device connected to your computer. Do not close out of the application and let the jailbreak continue. Again, as always, I'm going to leave the iPod up on the display here throughout the duration of this jailbreak, just so you guys can see approximately how long it should take. All right, so as you can see, it's rebooting the device now. Leave it connected, you're definitely not done yet, and we're actually going to have to open Pangu another time. So again, just let the jailbreak proceed and do not interface with your device or even your computer really at this point. All right, it's rebooting now. and it should come back on in just a second. And once it does, you're going to slide to unlock and then again, tap the Pangu icon for a second time. So there we go, slide to unlock and then Pangu. And once it opens, it will continue inside of the Pangu jailbreak utility with again, the steps required to jailbreak. Don't worry about that storage almost full warning right there. I have received that every time when jailbreaking with Pangu. It's actually not accurate and it's just part of the jailbreak process. Again, it's typical of Pangu. So let's go ahead and wait for it to reboot here for a second time. Now the rest of this process should take place on the device itself. However, I don't recommend unplugging it even at this stage. And also as for those who are wondering if you can set your date back to the current date after jailbreaking with Pangu, don't worry, it should automatically do that when it comes back on. And if it doesn't automatically, then you can set your date back yourself inside of settings and then just set it to set automatically. All right, so here we go, we are back up. I'm going to slide to unlock, scroll over, and as you can see, we do have Cydia. The first time we open it, it will reorganize the file system, and it will actually prepare it, and then it will respring automatically. So you can close it, however, again, I recommend leaving it open and just waiting for it to automatically respring itself. And now, of course, at this point, you can close out of Pangu on your computer if you so choose. 
Also, if iTunes happens to pop up during the Pangu jailbreak process, definitely do not close out of it. If you do and it even pops up to begin with for you, then you will encounter errors again when closing out of it. So just leave it open if Pangu does open it during the process specifically for you. All right, there we go. As you can see, it did instantly respring, and now we should be able to slide to unlock once it's up and then go over to Cydia, and I'm going to show you guys that Cydia does confirm. This is a fifth generation iPod Touch running iOS 7.1.1, so let's open it now. All right, as you can see, here we go. We have the typical Cydia interface. I'm just going to readjust the camera really quick and show you guys that this does confirm 7.1.1. All right, so as you can see at the bottom, it does say iPod 5.1 iOS 7.1.1, Cydia 1.1.12. And of course, I can just go to the sources tab down below at the bottom, all sources, all packages, and you can see that I do have access to all of the typical packages inside of Cydia. And of course, I can install them if I so choose. All right, I hope you guys like this video. Again, just an updated tutorial for the updated version of Pangu, in this case 1.1.0, which not only brings OSX and native English support, but it also adjusts a few of the exploits that Pangu utilizes to again jailbreak 7.1 and 7.1.1 across all devices that can upgrade to the firmware. And if you're on an iPad too, this should rectify the previous issues with the earlier utility. So again, of course, I really hope you guys like this video and I hope it helped you jailbreak. If you did and you're interested in earning paid applications, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comments have been posted, navigate to bit.ly forward slash get free app life or freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. Once downloaded, install sponsored apps for points and then redeem said points for various prizes. Again, like paid application codes, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices. You'll also be able to enter numerous giveaways the service holds. And aside from that, if you haven't watched my episode, best tech and phone rumors from yesterday. I recommend doing so again. I will have an annotation to that on the screen now, as well as my original Pangu jailbreak tutorial. And of course, if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I cover topics like jailbreaking and just create new videos in general, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.